Welcome back, Awesome Kids TV fans, to another Boss Transformation Season 2 episode. And we are back with the last Hyper... We are back with the last Mount Eris Railway Engine. This one is an experimental engine. Ah! It got detached. That's right. This Mount Eris railway engine is an experimental flexible steam engine. It's a experimental crocodile type steam engine. And honestly, it's my weirdest engine I had to make in my entire life. Out of all the and out of all the experimental engines I have made over the course of three years, that that is the weirdest. This is the weirdest. This is the weirdest experimental. Steve engine or locomotive, whatever you want to call it, that is from the MLP universe. This is what it looks like. This is the sixth engine. This is the last engine of the railway assortment. And that means we're going to be making... That means we are making... You guessed it, Griffinstone's railway engines. This is how the engine bends around. This is how it bends through corners. It's like that miniature crocodile class diesel locomotive I made a couple episodes ago. This is what happens when you try to lift it, of course. <laughs> This engine is so heavy. Now it is time to showcase the two different sections separated. We'll start with the engine section, the steam engine section. <laughs> this section is only four pieces long, four boiler length pieces long. And it, all, and it has only about four wheels with no piston rods, because I didn't have enough wheels to get it some piston rod action. <laughs> but that is okay, though, because it looks awesome. Anyway, the engine, by the way, the engine uh, itself, by the way, includes about two whistles. Yeah. <laughs> kind of like, uh, sir... I'm kind of like uh, Peter Sam from Thomas and Fred's The Scar Lowy Railway Engine. I gave this engine more flexibility before I did, before I made this video. <laughs> so that's why it flexes so much. This is what the steam engine section looks like from the front, back, sides, top, and bottom. Now, the cab section. The cab section includes three piston rods on each side, along with three driving wheels on each side. That, that equals six, of course. <laughs> and it, of course, includes six ballast wheels on the back with a little light. Which, obviously, is a very good touch. These sections right here don't have the light like that part does, like that section does. This section also has a whistle, which explains the two whistles. So, yeah, this is the 12-wheeled uh, cab section. And this is the four-wheeled steam engine section, or so, or should I say steamy section. If you combine the two together, you get about, count them, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, yeah, count them, 16 wheels. 
in counting. <laughs> and it is very flexible and heavy. Now I will show you how the flexibility part of the base actually works. This is how the base flexibility actually works. It goes like that to turn on sharp turns and things like that, like vividly sharp turns. That is pretty much how it works. I had to give it more flexibility because the two sections were a little too close. <laughs> and that concludes today's Boss Transformations. Season 2 episode. And that, unfortunately, is the end of the Mount Eris Railway Engine series of six Mount Eris Railway locomotives or edges, whatever you like to call them. Now we're moving on to the next railway on the list, which is, of course... Griffinstone. <laughs> That's right, the Griffinstone Railway. But that is all for today. Thank you for watching today's episode. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And turn on bell notifications to never miss out on any new videos we make for you every year. We sometimes wait a day uh, to make a video, and sometimes we don't necessarily do that. Anyway, thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Turn on bell notifications and make sure those are turned on. Da -da 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 -ding. And make sure to share this video with all your friends and family. And as always, we will see you next time. Also, question of the day. What kind of engines should I make the Griffin Stone Railway engines based on? I will, the answer is I will, I will uh, decide on that and we will see you next time.